What's going on guys, this is Cracker here, and um, this is episode 3 of Sniper Saturdays, a uh, series I started about 3-4 weeks ago, and uh, pretty much it's just a change of pace from my normal assault rifle SMG style gameplays that I normally, you know, give to you, and uh, just run around with a sniper and try to try to get the best score I can, and I'll uh, post video, win or lose, you know, a bad score or not, and this particular video I go 20 and 11, is my final score with the MSR. Uh, just, just my favorite sniper rifle in Modern Warfare 3. Um, I've used the Barrett and the L118, but the MSR is just kind of one I feel more comfortable with. Um, we end up losing like 7,500 to 50, 5,700, somewhere along in there. And like I say, you know, it's just, you know, nobody wins every match. And I don't, when I started doing YouTube, I was like, well, you know, I'm not going to always post winning game after winning game after winning game because that's you know it's just not something that happens and as long you know i try and get a pretty decent you know kd you know for what i for what i normally do i don't want to like put up a me getting like a 15 kd and then my next video i get like a one kd you know because i mean i know what i'm capable of on a consistent basis and i mean i may put a video in there if i get one with a real high kd you know every once in a while but as far as consistency you know, it, it'll stay around a 1.5 or 1, you know, somewhere along that, because that's just what I normally do. Um, that's pretty much it for the gameplay. Um, it's on the map of the car, obviously. You've probably figured that out by now. It's like a minute and a half in, but <laughs> um, it's got some pretty good pretty good sections in it. And somehow, I think it's like three quarters of the way through it. I can't remember the exact spot, but um, the enemy team actually has a Reaper in the air. And somehow, I stand up against this truck, and it does not kill me. Um... I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but you know, it's just Modern Warfare 3, I guess. It's one of those things. Um, <clears throat> enough about that. Um, pretty much Black Ops 2 comes out November the 13th, and today is what, the uh, second? So it's like 11 days from now. Well, pretty much 10, you know, by the time the midnight release gets here and everything. I just wanted to um, touch base with some people that may be in the area. Um, if you don't know where I'm from, I'm actually from South Carolina, and I'll. Uh, close to a town called Sumter, which is kind of, it's probably about 30, 45 minutes away from Columbia or Florence. And uh, I'll be there at the Sumter Mall GameStop, um, where I usually do all my midnight releases at, because it's always been a good place to go. They have actually another GameStop in Sumter, but it's a smaller store, and it's outside, so if the weather's bad, you're kind of screwed if there's a lot of people there. Um, but they usually have um, some stuff set up. They have the last couple of years. They do like a little small free for all tournament. Um, I think it was last year. Yeah, last year they did. Um, they had a free for all tournament set up on 360, and then one for the PlayStation guys. And I think they paid like 15 or 20 dues and did a small free for all tourney and gave away some shirts and stuff. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm currently working on trying to get some stuff ironed out to maybe do some small giveaways um, during the uh, midnight release. I'm not quite sure if they're going to let me do it yet or not. I'm going to find out hopefully in the next day or so. And I uh, might be able to give you guys, hook you guys up with some control freaks or some squid grips or something. And uh, just kind of, you know, show my appreciation for you showing up and the game stops as well. And, um, you know, hopefully maybe make some new fans and uh, bring some more people to my channel, you know, just because, I mean, it's, Sumter's a small town. I mean, chances are I probably know everybody, but, you know, there's always that one person you don't know that might not have a clue that I have a YouTube channel and this is what I do, and they might actually like my stuff. So this is kind of like a, you know, meet and greet thing, and um, I'm probably going to be, take my camera and probably do some IRL stuff and, um, just see how it goes. It'll be something different that I hadn't done either. So, just another change of pace. Um, one other thing that I kind of wanted to touch on is uh, it, a couple months ago, the whole you know Raw Instinct deal got blown up with um, I Fly Alina, and uh, it, you know in that situation, yeah, he pretty much copied I Fly's T Mark and couple other people's stuff i mean he was copying thumbnails screenshots everything and i mean it was just a blatant use of someone else's content and claiming it as his and not even offering to put any kind of accreditation i guess is the word i don't really know in the description for the other people's work well um earlier today ptfo live was going to do a road to black ops 2 which is something that 
PKA and what his gamer tag does. Well, they said they mentioned it on Twitter, and apparently the um oh, excuse me the uh, fans kind of had like a little bit of a backlash, and um they didn't really like it, and said that they were trying to take Woody's idea, this that and the other. Well, yeah, it, it you know Woody was the first one to do it, and um but the thing is PTFO was giving him full credit for the idea from the get-go they i mean that's the first thing they said they were going to put him in the description for his link to his channel the uh actual video that they did last night on pka and everything i mean they were being really nice about it and i didn't really see a problem with it but apparently a lot of people did and i mean it sucks they um they ended up doing just a regular friday afternoon chill cast like they normally do and um Towards the end, they you know they try to call a few Game Stops and WalMarts and stuff, and um, try to get people to give them the game early because I mean that's that's like a big quest I guess for everybody right now. And um, you know it's it's a guessing game. I mean you might call, you might not, and you might be able to get it. You know, um, of course it could be like it was a couple of years ago when Kmart completely screwed up and uh, let I don't know hundreds of copies of the game go early. They put them on the shelf and. We're just selling. They weren't really worried about the street day, and then I think they ended up getting a big fine. I think it's somewhere around ten thousand dollars or something if you get caught selling it before street date. So um, that's why people are very cautious about giving it to you. But you got some people who just don't care, and they'll do anything if you pay them games like normal fifty bucks, sixty bucks. You give them a hundred dollars, they'll give it to you. You know, so it's just one of those things. Um, so like I say, we just. I don't really, you know, didn't understand what the whole deal was as far as that, you know, so it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I wouldn't care if somebody copied my work as long as they accredited me in the description at the end. Um, now, that's the biggest thing. I mean, I'm a really small channel compared to a lot of people that I know, and, um, you know, even if I was a big channel, it would still be the same way, so, you know, I don't, I don't really understand what the big fuss was about. Um, one last thing before I go is... Tomorrow is um, the first first uh, show of the subscriber showdown that my buddy Foreign is putting on with uh, Mr. Tony Stark. I'll um, link both of their channels again in this video so you can go find them. And it will be streaming live on Twitch TV is what I was told earlier. Um, Foreign said that they're probably going to start I think around 6 or 6.30 Central Time which is what 7, 7.30 here I think they're like an hour behind us. So um, as soon as I get the link and a um, for sure sure start time, I'll um, I'll tweet it out tomorrow, and that way everybody will have it. And um, I re you know you guys need to go by there and check it out. Um, it's like I say, it's something new that they're gonna do. And you know like I say tomorrow is a preseason, is what they're calling it. And I think they'll do one next week. And then when Black Ops 2 comes around is when the actual season season starts. But they're gonna be switching out players every week, from my understanding. They're gonna keep. I think they're going to try and keep like the top one or two and just um, roll with it that way and see what happens. And uh, but like I say, just go check them out. Um, the channels will be down in the description. Um, they're really good guys, put out good content all the time. And, uh, you know, I've, I've became pretty pretty good friends with Foreign over the past couple of months. He's a real nice guy. And, uh, that's, you know, that's how I came across Tony Starks because they were friends and so on and so forth. It's just social media at its best, I guess. But, um, that's pretty much going to close it out for today and I'll be back on probably Wednesday or Thursday with a new video and uh, after that you know it's just going to be I got Modern Warfare 3 clip uh, videos and I got some Minecraft and some Forza stuff so I'm just you never know what you might end up seeing um, so just kind of hang in there and be on the lookout for it and uh, like I said that's pretty much it and um, we'll catch y'all next time peace Hey guys, if you look on the screen right here in front of you, you saw a previous video from Thursday. Um, just kind of talk about a couple of random subjects. But anyway, uh, be sure to check it out and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. We'll see y'all later. Peace.